Great. Good morning, Renata. Thank you so much for taking the time to have a little chat with me today. Hi, good morning. How are you? Yes, fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You, um, I wanted to talk to you because you've left a couple of reviews and you've made a couple of posts on social media with some fantastic uh, feedback about red light therapy. So I just wanted to take this chance just to speak to you directly, just to find out um, a little bit about you and your red light therapy journey. So could you maybe just start by telling me, you know, what, if you're willing to share what health conditions you, you have or you had that kind of brought you to red light therapy? Sure, of course. So, um, so maybe about nine or eight years ago, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's and a couple of years after I was diagnosed with PCOS and on top of everything else, I've been suffering. I think you can say I've been suffering with an awful insomnia. I mean, that's been going on probably for about 10 years on and off. Wow. Um, last two years have been a bit tricky. I mean, I've lost my mom like two years ago, and I think that triggered that even to be a bit worse. So, I mean, I work with kids and going to work and trying to focus when you maybe slept for two or three hours and then on and off and waking up. And I mean, it, it's awful. And it affects your whole body. It have, affects your mind. And obviously... I'm not a fan of trying to reach out um, and helping to solve these issues with pills and tablets. I'd rather look for the alternate way to help that. So uh, obviously I've been with my Hashimoto, um, Hashimoto's, I've been put on a um, uh, thyroid replacement, the pill stuff and you know, trying to do some research, like maybe 10 years ago, there wasn't much about that um, as I progressed with that. Actually, to be honest, I've not seen much difference in that. If not, actually, there, were, there are periods when my symptoms are worse. Um, so I decided to, I don't know, again, it's all based on my own experience. So I would not obviously recommend maybe that step, but I decided to stop taking that. Um, for a while, I've been taking the C, CBD oils, which have helped a little bit with like anxiety. That also I've been suffering a little bit helped with the sleep, but still it's just not what I needed. Um, so I've been preparing myself to take an exam last November and with the brain fog and not being able to focus, I must say, it was a journey to, it was awful. I mean, I remember sitting in front of the papers at the exam and like, it just was all blank, like not being able to focus. Anyway, so quite, quite not long after my exam in uh, last November, I've been, you know, when you research, when you can sleep, what do you do? You do a lot of research online. And um, I found, I followed Avinia Taylor on Instagram and she posted something um, about using red light for like all Hashimoto's or something. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm always a little bit apprehensive about things like that when celebs try to, well, she wasn't trying to sell. She just said, she said she was using it. So I'm like, oh, okay, I might have a look. And I did. And actually that opened like so many doors. So apparently there are some studies from 60s already talking about benefits of red light, which I've never heard before. So I dug a little bit deeper. Anyway, I bought the light from you guys. <laughs> it came in a nice little neat box. I was surprised because it's um it's not very big. It's light, super straightforward to use. Amazing service customer as well, which was very helpful. Um, and yes, and I immediately started using it, um, sort of, you know, the initial 10 minutes per day in the, for the first maybe week, then I kind of extended it to, I must say I was quite religious. I decided I'll be getting up a little bit early in the morning to do like 15 minutes on my thyroid, on my face and just like all over my body and the same thing in the evenings. I did, I just, I don't know, it didn't really click initially, but my sleep has improved almost immediately. So 
I, okay, well, maybe that was maybe two, three days. So after years and years of not being able to sleep, so it's my, what, second month that I sleep. The moment I put my head on a pillow, I wake up. So I wake up quite early because I wake up at about five just to get ready for work, do my life, do my breathing. And um, and I sleep. I, do you know how huge relief is that for someone who, it just, you know, like I feel a little bit more like old my old self, so I sleep. So that was the first thing. My sleep um, has been, I, I can't, I, I honestly, and it improves your mood as well. Like, you know, I'm I'm just cheerful and happy again. It's 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 unbelievable how much it affects you. So, so are, you, I do, are you sleeping through the night? Is that what you're trying yes, to say? Yes, so I sleep through the night. I sleep through the night. The moment I put my head on a pillow, I sleep through the night till the moment I wake up with the alarm clock. And you've had insomnia for years, you said? I would say probably about 10 years, like a little bit on and off, but I would say, so like, I didn't have problems with falling asleep, but I would fall asleep for a couple of hours and I would wake up. And then you lie, you know, you lie awake and it's just a killer and you fall asleep an hour before you have to get up. And, or, you know, you'd fall asleep, you'd wake up, I'd fall asleep, I'd wake up. It's, and you wake up in the morning and you feel like, gosh, I've not gotten any sleep. I've also noticed, well, it's maybe because my sleep's improved because of using the red light, but also I'm much calmer. Like, I am much more relaxed. My, and my relaxed, I'm, I'm relaxed. My approach towards things is, okay, let's just see how it goes. Whether the old me would be like, oh God, it's, you know, it, that's just, that's just gone. I mean, I'm not saying like I'm, a, you know, 100% like always, but it's just, it's amazing how much that's changed. So just no anxiety at all, no anxiety at all. Wow. Um, so obviously I think with the thyroid journey that will be a bit of a longer journey so I had my blood work done for um, my thyroid last summer when I went back home to Poland <clears throat> and I had them done again in just after Christmas on a um, like 27th 28th of December I went to have them done and without being on um, levothyroxine that period of time between like August and December. So unfortunately, because I had my blood work done just after Christmas when, you know, you're not really stick to the whole gluten, dairy free and, and, you know, I went back to Poland and, you know, wherever you go, people want you to eat cheesecakes and uh, more cheesecake and God knows what else. So I must say I was, and I, as I've learned, like, the gluten-free food can contribute to not so great um, blood work results. However, my my results have not, they, re they remained on the same level. So they've not gotten any worse. They've just remained on the same level. So I'm quite optimistic. I'm doing another blood work in a couple of weeks here. So it will be quite interesting to see if that has changed now that I'm actually back on a bit of a stricter reg uh, regime with the food and everything. So... Um, yes, my brain fog's gone. My focus is has improved. Like actually, when I read a book, I know what I read. I can understand and I can recall it, which before was like no. But also, there was one other thing which I think is the major thing for me, like the major change, which it wasn't why I bought the light. So as I was using like over my face with my eyes closed, but sometimes, you know, you kind of try to watch TV, so keeping it a bit lower. And uh, I I was, I used to wear glasses um, for, again, probably about 10, 11 years. Yeah, probably 10, 11 years. And um, back just before Christmas, I finished work a bit later and it was a bit of a, like a rainy, misty evening. And on evenings like that, when I ran for the train, I don't wear my glasses because once you wear a mask and the glasses and it's wet, it's like the whole fogginess is driving me crazy. So I'm just running into the platform to see where my train, uh, when my train's arriving. And I kind of look from the distance. I'm like, oh, okay, I still have got like five minutes. So I come a bit closer to the digital display and I'm standing there and looked again and, you know, and you stand and then you go this light bulb moment and you go, 
did they just see it from like the distance with no glasses? I was like, no, no. And I stepped back. I'm like, yeah. So it's still like not super long distance as it used to be, but I actually don't wear glasses anymore. I can read without glasses. I can work on a computer. My eyes don't get uh, red. They don't get like teary. I don't just wear glasses. I miss my glasses a little bit at times, <laughs> maybe for the looks kind of purpose, but for the other reasons, no. That's incredible. So you used to wear glasses to read? And to yes. see in the distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're saying that in within just two months you've been using the light? So for the glasses, that was a bit, that was around a month. I, my, my, sort of my prescriptions were not too big. I cannot give you the exact details because, because I do all my tests when I go back home to Poland because I can go private because it's much cheaper. So yes. all my paperwork I store over there. But I mean, I could ask my dad to try to dig it out for me. I didn't get a chance because it was all, I just didn't, there was not enough time for me to book an appointment to go and check my eyesight. It's just, I didn't really even think about it. And you have to book it in a bit of advance, I'm afraid, mm. because of COVID and everything. Mm -hmm. But um, I want to use it more. Just obviously, I still, I keep on using the lights. So I want to use it. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll go before the summer to see. But I mean, like, I can talk to you. I can see the letters uh, on the screen. I can, it's just, it's just That's that was for me it was just like it is it is honestly like and the funny thing is like people when i ask people is there anything different about me mm, no i'm like <laughs> can you see i'm not wearing glasses ah you had laser surgery i'm like jesus christ no no oh no, no and then i keep on telling them about the light and they go oh okay so one person who is really who's the biggest skeptic ever is my dad He's a typical Polish guy who does not believe in things like that. So when I went back home, I took the light with me <clears throat> and I tried to, so I used it a little bit myself and I, he's been having knee, uh, knee problems. He's in his like mid sixties and he's always on the go. So I suppose it comes with an age. And I just said, look, why he's always on the go. He, I think he still sometimes thinks he's like 25 and he's not. So I said, just, you know, take it easy. But <clears throat> I said, while you watch your TV, why don't you put the light against your knee? I said, five minutes, five minutes out of all day. You've got that time. Oh, you're huffing and puffing. Eventually he he, I, he did. And he's been using that for about, I'd say maybe 10 days. So when I was, it was time for me to leave. I said, look, I'm gonna have to take my light. He didn't say anything, but he was like, mm, well, okay, fine. Like, and, uh, and then because I was one of the winners in your Christmas giveaway, so I got a little bit of money. So I purchased another light for him. And I haven't sent it yet because I've ordered another one for a friend as well, which arrived yesterday, I believe. Anyway, so I spoke to my father yesterday and he was like, God, the difference in that pain is amazing. So he said, the first, I think, two weeks after you were gone, it just, he said he don't, could not feel any pain. He could walk. It wasn't painful when he was getting up. So he said, you know, any chance that's coming soon so I can start using it to kind of feel the long term results. My father, the biggest skeptic ever, like who, that tells you something. Yes. Beautiful. That's so incredible. And that's, that's, it's so good for me to hear that because this is what we hope. You know, when yeah. we sell a product like this, this is what we hope. Like, oh, I hope this works. I hope this works for you. I hope, we, I hope you don't get it. And you go, oh, pff, what a waste of money, you know. But your story is one of thousands of stories that we're getting like this now. You know, some people are writing us emails. Some people just on Instagram saying this and that. Yeah. But these results make me feel so happy that, you know, I can sell something and it can actually make a difference to someone, you know, like you and it like did, your dad. Honestly, and it did, it did. It did. so incredible. I've been recommending you guys like crazy based on my own experience. So mm. I've got a few other friends who, spoke, who purchased it here in London. So I'm just saying, telling them, just try to stick to it. it it's 10 minutes out of your whole day. Exactly. You will see good results so they all very new to it so i'm hoping to hear there'll be more positive stories like great. that as well great so just before we go so how are you using your target light combo right now so okay. at the moment shall i show well i've got a light with me so when i wake up and i 
so when I wake up and I put the light on and I start with um, when I put on, I start using it above my head for about five minutes. Then when I finish, I set up a timer for five minutes so I can just kind of start again. Then I use it on my thyroid from like a little bit of distance. Mm -hmm. um, then I use it for my eyes when I keep it like in a distance and I look over it. Mm -hmm. I don't look in the light and then depends if I've got like a little pain in my knee or in my back I will use it for that for so I would use it for five minutes on every spot so I do that in the morning and I do the same thing in the evening except that I don't use it for my above my head because that's supposed to stimulate you if I'm correct okay. I, so are I you, are you using yeah, it in your face in the evening as well no no I don't no so I just on your in throat. The Yes. Yeah. I, I had it in my head. Um, um, uh, if I read it. So the problem with me is I don't always read the instructions correctly. I read them very quickly and I go, I do it my way anyway. But then I guess, you know, because we're all different, but that's what works for me. So thyroid above my head for like for the eyes, like looking above the light, over the light. And if there is any other sore bit like a knee or uh, on my back. Okay. So just to be clear, in the evening, you... Can you tell me how do you use it in the evening? So in the evening, yeah. So in the evening, I use it for my throat here. Yeah? I lie down on my side. If I want to put it on my back, I lie down on the side and I put it on a cushion or a pillow from like a little distance to light against my back. And if I have a sore knee, I'll put it on my sore knee. Got Because I went back into running and that's a bit, a bit of a, um, that's a bit of a, um, challenge but hopefully that will sort it out so yeah beautiful beautiful that is that's the best bit of news i could have heard today it's oh, been happy. absolutely wonderful talking to you and hearing your experience oh i'm very happy and thank well, you well it's so all much. very honest and as i said it's i'm not the one who go on about something unless i like something and i've tried it myself but because I saw the results and I'm sure there will be more like the good results. I'm sure there will be more coming. It's just obviously sometimes it's a bit of a time journey. So um, yes, I'm sure you'll hear from me again. It's Beautiful. Important. I really do hope you stay in touch. Renata, thank you so much for making oh, this time right. right now. Really, really appreciate it. Okay. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for chatting to me. You have a good day today. Take you care. Too. Bye. Bye. -bye.